What's going on, y'all? We're going to do a mall vlog today. I'll look at the finish line, see what they got in here. Hopefully, the music is not loud so we can record. Yes, looking at the wall. Got some 97s, some 270s, some 4th of July's. Yeah, it's really not that much in here. Let's go ahead and find the. Yeah, I got this. Uh, I like these from work. Might see if they got my size they need. Uh, let's go to the Jordan section. Yeah, looking at the Jordan wall, we got these. Nice, uh, pretty nice. Nothing but net. And that's about it. As you can see, y'all, there was nothing in the uh, finish line just left out of. I don't know what's going on, but they had no no Jordans like to talk, you know. The only Jordan I saw that was worth getting was that that uh, black and gray dunk. We ain't going to go look in Foot Locker real quick, see what's in here like to call this club foot locker because i know the music is blasting back here in the house of hoops so i'm gonna try to record a little something yeah, a couple of jackets a shirt a Couple little things. Yep, still in house of hoops, y'all. Don't really have too much heat in here. Got the Kyrie's sitting. Couple Zion shirts. They represent for the team. Zion, gold pills. Phone cards. Phone pods is just sitting. Uh, comment below, guys. Let me know if phone pods is a dead. I still wear them, but they don't sell as much. Yeah, I just left out of the house of hoops. They really didn't have anything. I checked on the grape fires while I was there and uh, the guy told me they're still waiting on theirs to get in. Coming up on Jimmy Jazz. Has everyone's Jimmy Jazz remodeled like this? Comment below, let me know. Probably will not be able to record once I get in here due to the loud music. Okay guys, so I'm leaving out of Jimmy Jazz. Uh, like I said, I was not able to record in there because of the loud music and copyright reasons. Oh, hear that thunder out there? Yeah, so I couldn't record in Jimmy Jazz, but while I was in there, I also asked them about their uh, great fives and they were sold out, so there is a demand for this shoe. I was speaking with someone i know in the sneaker community he works at an unnamed store and uh he said this is gonna be kind of like a big gr but everyone just waiting on their pairs to get in so we're gonna see what's going on when the pairs actually get in just walking up on champ sports see what's going on Y'all make sure y'all obey this. Everyone's safety. We got a limited number of customers in store for now. Max 32 people at once. Let's go ahead and see what's up. All right. Came out of champs. Caught me a little something. We're going to take a look at that when we get back in the car. Right across the way. We got foot action.
Yeah, guys. Just left out of foot action and uh, they really didn't have anything in there y'all wanted to see. Same old, same old. I think I'm gonna leave out this mall and go ahead to another mall. It's raining outside, so I'm gonna stop recording because I gotta get wet a little bit to get back to the car. Yeah, they still got these sitting in champ. These two seven is still sitting. Too bad they don't have my size. Comb the wall a little bit. Little GR stuff. Got your Prestos. Not too much uh, different shoes and champs. Yeah, we got these lime green dunks. And these a hundred dollars. Got these. Got some Kyrie's. Got a few different Kyrie's in here. Some Giannis. Got these Kyrie's on sale. Seventy nine dollars. Got some LeBron's. Oh, they went back to the old school. Felines, $19. They straight ready for the barbecue. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys, we just left out of Champs. And I stumbled up on a little something, something. We can look at that. We're going to look at that once I get back, get back to the bunker. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take a look at it. This is what I stumbled up on. Y'all recognize the box. Red jump, man. Bam. We got these bad boys. Air Jordan 14 retro color. Black, red, white, and off-white. I'm sorry, that's gym red off-white. Size 10. Price 190 US dollars. Red box. Bam. Let's go ahead and take these bad boys out the box. Open the box. You have your standard white tissue paper. And whoop! There y'all go. The Raging Bulls. The Gem Raid 14s. Toro 14s. All right. Let's get a better look at these. Yes, getting into the sneaker. You can see the upper of the sneaker is uh, constructed of a... Uh, we have Jim Red right here. There's a Jim Red, Shaw Green of New Buck. And you can see a Lamborghini sign with the John Jumpman logo on it. Closer look. The jaw jump man is trimmed in silver or chrome. Neat little feature. And you look to your midsole, have a few different colors. You have that hit of standard white right here. You have off-white right here. You got your all-black carbon fiber here. The off-white goes all the way up to right here. You have hit of standard white right here again. And it kind of alternates going up the midsole because... As you can see, you have off-white here, white here, and off-white here. And you can see it has some black up here as well on your midsole that leads to the outsole. All black outsole. You got your red uh, rum number 14. And also your red rum, uh, Jordan Jump Man, excuse me. And at the heel of the sneaker, you have that standard white hit right here. Okay, looking at the back of the sneaker, you can see you got the little silver part right here to the top of the heel badge. You have the John Jumpman logo and number 23 in your standard white. You have the black rubber right here, which represent, I think, tire 
tire tracks of a Lamborghini. And you can see right here and right here, those two little red red parts right here that represents the red lights on the Lamborghini. Lamborghini happens to be Michael Jordan's favorite car. He likes sports cars. And he have that hit of white right here. And that completes the heel of the sneaker. Look at the inside of the sneaker. More of that gem red up here on the upper. And as you can see on the midsole, you have that hit of white and off-white going on right here. If you take a closer look in here, this looks like a little ventilation port where uh, if you look at the sneaker from the inside, you can see daylight. So I guess that's like a breathing breathing apparatus that they put on this shoe to, I guess, give your feet some air and keep your feet cooler while wearing these 14s. You got your black carbon fiber right here again, and you got that off-white going all the way up here to the midfoot. You got that hit of standard white here, and it alternates again to from white to off-white to white, off-white, and a hit of black right here on your midsole. To the front of the sneaker, get to the toe box. Get a closer look at that. It's a little longer green. It's more like a suede. You can see little change in direction. Have a silver Jordan Jumpman right here on the toe box. And that same suede all the way up the tongue until you get to this part, this little mesh part here. And you have Jordan in the gem red letters. Comes with black rope laces. It only came in one pair of laces, guys. Turn it around. Oh, yeah, and the laces have the silver metal tips on the end. Now, let's get to the inside of the sneaker. Cardboard shoe tree, size 10, 10 and a half. I'm going to sit that here. Let's get a good look at the inside of the sneaker. Inside of the sneaker, you have your black insert with your red Jordan Jumpman logo. Let's go ahead and look at the tongue. Tongue says US size 10. And let's look at the production date. See uh December 18th from last year to April 22nd of this year. So we had quite a few months in production with these guys. Uh look at the other sneaker real quick. Both sneakers are exactly the same. There are no differences in the sneakers. Comment below, how's your journey to get these in your collection? Were you able to get a pair? Where did you get them from? Let me know in the comment section. Me, myself, I, uh, I was not able to get a pair in my size, but it's one of those sneakers that would have been nice to add to the collection, but I didn't get it, so I'm okay with it, guys. Uh, Comment below, what did you think of this release? And uh, what is the future of the Jordan releases going for? Because a lot of stores aren't getting that many pairs from what I gather. And you have your late shipments. They're saying the 4th of July holiday contributed to this. So I'm not sure. Comment below, let me know what's going on in your city, guys. And uh. Let's get this video, let's get some likes on this video. Let's get it to 100 likes, guys. And uh, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to give you one last look at this sneaker. And then I'll be back with you. And if you're not part of the TF Gang family already, here's how you can become part of the family. We would love to have you. Like this video, watch this video, leave a comment, and also after your comments, leave hashtag TF Gang. We about to be trending, guys. Put T hashtag TF Gang at the end of all your comments. 
and we're going to get this trending. We're going to let the world know who the TF Gang family is. And most of all, subscribe to the channel, guys, and leave that post notification. Hit that post notification bell and leave it on so you know when the TF Gang family congregates here on YouTube. I'd like to thank all you guys for watching. Titanic Feet Jack signing out.